guys i moved into a shoe box hi this is my final month in korea and i moved into this place if you can't tell it has no kitchen since there's no kitchen i decided that we should order korean delivery for 24 hours actually my jewels on my instagram helped me choose what I, sh I should deliver today it is 12 40 it's breakfast for me and the number one requested item is fried chicken let's order right now i like to use g market it's in korean but there's another app called shuttle that is all english if you guys come to korea okay fried chicken i'm so excited a lot of you guys requested bhc Prinkle. I understand like it's so popular on YouTube but one time I went to go eat it with my friend and we could not even finish one leg. I don't know why it was so sweet. It was like trying to make chicken into a dessert. It was really uncomfortable. We literally left the restaurant with like a full dish of chicken and that was like so bad. So I am gonna be eating Nene chicken instead because I know it's savory and spicy. But yeah, let's look for Nene chicken. Oh, it might not be open. Please. I'm hungry. Literally, I'm not gonna eat anything else today but delivery food. Nay, nay, chicken, nay, nay, chicken. Where are you? Where are you? And I'm so sorry. <gasps> They're not open till 1.30. Yeah, I'm gonna wait till 1.30 to order because it's what I wanna eat for breakfast, okay? Yeah, <laughs> Yes, I'm eating on my bed. I don't care. So it takes about 45 minutes. Okay. This is a magnet for a fridge, which I don't need. They gave me a free Coke. Or Pepsi. That's nice. Oh, yes. Chopsticks. Oh my gosh, I was so worried about that, guys. Okay. Salad, tanmuji, which I don't really like. I don't like pickled radish that comes with chicken usually. They have a new chicken called the marble chicken. Let's check it out. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. Look at that color. This is my first meal of the day. This is their rose pasta. Oh, I love, I love Korean spaghetti because it's so like creamy and saucy. Oh, there's like pepperoni in there. Let's try. Why is there no leg? Piss me off. Okay, let's go for the leg. Mm. Oh, a oh, hot. Oh. Mm. Hot. This is so good. I'm gonna tie my hair because we're going to business now. Okay, let's try the marble chicken. Oh, I got a leg. It's really spicy. Mm, it's really spicy, sweet. I found the hidden lake. I was looking for this. Mm.
Mm. It really does cleanse the palate. The thing about living alone is you're always eating leftovers. Like even when I'm in Korea, I try not to have leftovers, but it just happens. And so like most of my days are eating leftovers. I'm definitely gonna have leftovers after this video. This is like my third trip to Korea. And this one is really different from the other two. I came here for only two weeks last year and that whole two week trip felt like a year. It was only two weeks, which is weird. Now here, I feel like I just got here and I'm already leaving. When I first came here this winter, I removed the really bad teeth and now I'm almost done with my implant next week. So now it feels like, wow, I'm really done. I'm gonna go home now. But yeah, my whole tooth thing took like three months. So it was perfect. Okay, we're done with breakfast and I'm gonna eat lunch in at 4 o'clock, we'll eat lunch. I'm back from Dorebang. I feel like I let go of a lot of stress. You know, let's order our dinner. I know it's gonna take an hour, so I should do it ASAP. Back on that G Market ish. Someone asked for a Pizza Hut, but the guys, I don't want a regular pizza because I recently did in a short. I know, like, when I go home, it'd be hard to eat this kind of pizza. Chicago pizza. Oh my god, they have a lasagna Chicago pizza. I have to. And it's the most popular item, so must be really good. Okay, I ordered. I've never tried this brand before. Either. Sauces. Oh, it's Wubin, guys. It, I've never heard of this brand, but if Wubin is endorsing it, it must be pretty good, right? I don't know why, but this pizza looks weird. This is not Chicago pizza. Mm -mm. This is just like super deluxe pizza, I would say. Let me try the crust. The cheese is super weird. I feel like I'm gonna choke. I have to eat really careful. It's not really wowing me. And it's making me really thirsty. I should have listened to my jewels and gotten Domino. Ew. Pickles. I know it's the kind of pickles that are like sweet. Maybe this hot sauce. I really wanted a wow factor. I was so confident that I would because I ate some Chicago pizza in Korea in 2018 and it was so good and it was like so cheesy like in Chicago. It was it was better than Chicago pizza. But this one, I'm mad. Maybe I'll like this tomorrow as leftovers. Because some pizzas they taste better like the next day. Mm. It's a good thing I ate on the floor just now because I was getting cold heated floors even though I live in a shoebox which is the good thing about Korea. I'm really lucky and blessed. I get to eat as much cheese as I want and my body digests it really well. So I eat cheese a lot and I notice this cheese is kind of weird. Mm. This Pepsi is hitting. Shout out to Nene Chicken. The hot sauce saved it. After this, I think I'm gonna go to the park. I'm still getting used to this neighborhood. I haven't really gone out except to go to the convenience store. 
Okay guys, it's late now. It's 7 o'clock now, our final meal of the night. Found this restaurant called $7 Kimchi Jjigae. Today I ate chicken, like beef from the lasagna pizza. So I think I should eat some pork now. Okay. I want like some gipsa <gasps> right there. Literally how I live in Korea. I learn vocab based on necessity. Like if I need to know what it means, I'll learn it. Okay, it comes with a bowl of rice. What? Why is it $21? Okay, I'm not ordering that. I just put in the order for our Korean dinner. While we're waiting, I thought I would do a tour of this room. Okay, here's the door. And then next is this thing. This thing went off one day when I was like sleeping and it scared me. The air con. I decided to put my two tote bags. I use them every day. And then next to that is the bathroom. It's a wet room, so it's really messy. So I'll just show really quick. Actually, really clean. This place is like really clean and safe. Okay, next, next is this wall. It's where the window is. Literally, there's no other place to put your suitcase besides right here. So, and then here's where I have my chair and, and table, which I don't even use because this room is too small. And that's where I have my leftovers that I need to figure out how to in this tiny fridge and then here's the closet which is pretty useful I hang my pajamas in there ready for me to wear it is the bed which is so tiny and yeah we're at the beginning again that's the room okay let's wait for our food Okay, here's the rice. There's a lot of rice. There's the seaweed. The soup. Oh, it's hot. This way. Okay. Oh, still steamy. I have a confession to make. I think I'm getting back into K-pop. I stopped obsessing over K-pop like when I came to Korea in 2018. Yeah, I, I don't really get to listen to music because I currently don't have headphones and I have the iPhone 13. You can't put like regular headphones earphones in there. I just haven't been listening to music even though I really like music. But anyways, I started listening to New Jeans recently and Coke Zero. Zero. I always have Coke Zero in hand. They're not super girly, but they're not super batty at the same time. They're like in between, which is like, I feel like me. <laughs> Hello. Boom. Basket Robins. I was at the park earlier and it was really nice. And it snowed. I haven't seen the snow in days. So that was a nice surprise while I was at the park. I really wanted to go there just because it looks exactly like the ones I see in K-dramas with the playground and everything. Let's check it out. I'm going to eat this while watching my favorite TV show. I asked for two forks so that I don't look like I'm eating all this myself. So I'm so excited. I got the pint for $8.90. They packaged it really well. Ooh, look. It is, what is this called? So that's probably why delivery in Korea is good because they put dry ice in it. Okay, I got my pint, and in the pint, you get three flavors. <gasps> I am a huge chocolate lover, so. And it has like these little chocolate in it. Mmm, please get this flavor. 
if you're a chocolate lover. 10 out of 10. Okay, let's try the green tea. Mm hmm. Oh, good. Try the very berry strawberry. It is so cute. Growing up, my family always ate strawberry ice cream. Mm, okay, it's very fruity. Artificial fruity. This hits the spot after all the food I ate today. I'm so happy I completed this video. I literally did breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert. If you guys followed me from like the beginning of my channel and like when I first came to Korea, oh my gosh. I literally had to use a payphone to deliver food and that was so desperate times. And now like I ordered three things to my house in one day.